I, I can say no. Index is the for milling, grinding, churning, the best. Welcome back, my friends. Thank you all for joining us. We do appreciate you, and you're gonna love this video, and I'll tell you why. One, the machine we're standing in front of, no one else in the world does this, and two, it can actually turn, mill, and grind on the same machine, which again, nobody else does. Now, I have the superstar Martin with me today, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this machine, but two five-axis heads, two spindles on either side. I mean, we're talking the ability to take multiple operations, put it into one, even if you need grinding, which again, just for fun, nobody else does. Martin, let's talk about this technology where you were making some products and realized, wait a second, we need to do grinding as well. And that was kind of how this developed, right? This development came from a necessity to be able to do grinding inside of a milling and turning machine. Our own employees uh, looking at this machine and see that we can grind, uh, we can turn, we can mill the work pieces on this machine. In uh, quality uh, and value pieces, you, you don't believe it. You're exactly right. So let's go back to part of the introduction when you say quality and value is hard. We're talking as good as two microns. Two microns. When I think it's two really. micron, Martin, I think I must invest in a grinding machine all by itself. But I can do it all here, can't I? Yes, it's right. And I'm talking on both sides. We're talking op 10, op 20. So here and here, I can grind on both sides. On both sides, and main spindle and counter spindle. And Martin, is there a, a max diameter size for my grinding wheel or the tools that go into the machines that are around us? Yeah, diameter uh, must be uh, closer than 100 millimeters. 100 millimeter, but that's really the limitation. And when I think about this machine, I also think that it's quite lightweight as well. All of the components in here are lightweight, which allows it to move back and forth quite easily. It, it's, it's enough from the uh, diameter 100 to uh, take the work pieces on, on the uh, main and counter spindle. 100 is enough. You, uh, old grinders uh, say we must have to uh, external grinding, um, grind di diameter 400, 500, then you can, can become the, uh, then you can get the best uh, work pieces. No, 100, it's enough for our pieces. It's, it's incredible and I'm looking around us and the audience, don't worry, we'll keep you included. We'll throw some B-roll in here for you guys. But I'm looking at a robot right across from us. So this can be fully automated as well. So with 80 to 160 tools in full automation coming from both the upper and the lower, or I did that in reverse, but upper and lower, uh, we are allowed to do tool changes, 80 and 160. But also when parts are done, we can throw a robot in this cell as well yes. and make it fully automated. Yes, that's right. Is there anything that Index can't do? You guys are incredible. I, I, I can't remember. I, I, I can say no. Index is the for milling, grinding, churning, the best. And if there is something you can't do, I imagine you'll figure out how to do that too, won't you? Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Martin, you know, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the machine and I noticed something a bit unique on this, this area here. Would you mind describing what we're looking at? This is a grinding wheel, the grinding wheel for internal grinding or external grinding. And it must be near by the workpiece. When it is near by the workpiece, it's the best. And so Martin, am I thinking to go along with this? Your tool changes are about four seconds and it's also very fast. Yes, you're very fast. Perfect. So for everyone who's watching, thank you for watching. This one was one that my mind was blown and I kind of really tried to, to get Martin on camera with me. And thank you so much for speaking English because this technology is fascinating. It's something that we at MTD CNC want to share with you because it could change the way that you do operations. How much floor space is on your machine shop floor right now where you wish you could do turning, milling and grinding in one machine to an accuracy of two micron plus fully automated with up to 160 tools. Are you kidding me? How much floor space, how much time, how much money, how many operations, how many people do you have to put in front of a machine to accomplish all this? It's Martin and I right here, and we only need one of us in order to run the machine. So I'm out of here. See you, Martin. <laughs>